twin flames and dragons. What do the two of these things have in common? And how can you use dragon energy to put an end to your twin flame separation right the hell now? This is not clickbait. I promise I have a solution here and this is something you likely have never heard anywhere before. So I encourage you to stick around for the whole video to find out what that is. But first, for those of you who do not know, my name is Hannah and I help people own their powers no matter how awkward, broken, victimized, or out of place you may feel. Back to our topic of twin flames and dragons, two of my favorite topics in spirituality and honestly two of the topics that I feel the most called to teach about. But first a story because it wasn't always that way. I actually started off, of course, with an affinity for dragons and dragon energy. And that's always been something that I've embraced. But when it came to twin flames, that wasn't always the case. I actually was <laughs> the biggest spinster for love and for twin flames specifically my entire life. Like words cannot describe to you just how against love and romance and relationships and all of it I was, but especially twin flames. Whenever I had heard that topic, I believe the first time I heard that topic was maybe like six years ago or so. And the first time I heard it, I was just like, Ugh. Twin flames. It sounds like they've taken the topic of the one or the soulmate and they've just put like this spiritual label over the top of it and tried to make it all like new agey. And I just, it was always a massive eye roll, a massive cringe for me. So imagine my surprise now, six years later, where I am so passionate about the topic of twin flames to the point where I am like teaching it and I'm always talking about it to friends and stuff. And they're just so sick of hearing about it. It. So how did I get from being this twin flame spinster to being a twin flame teacher? Really? I met my twin flame and uh, it really shook up my entire world as it does when you meet your twin flame. Because let me let you in on a little secret that you may not be aware of. As it turns out, twin flames aren't necessarily this fairy tale romance that maybe the the world of the blog articles and stuff make it out to be. And this was at the root of my resistance and my my triggering by it when I was younger. I could tell you that whenever I heard the term twin flames, there was like that massive eye roll, that cringe, but there was a part of me that knew there was a part of me that knew that I had a twin flame and I knew exactly what the concept entailed. And as such, I could not understand for the life of me why anyone would want to seek out their twin flame. Because <laughs> let me tell you, it is the most challenging experience you will ever have in your entire life. The twin flame journey is so, so challenging. Your twin flame is essentially your shadow self in physical form. So that means that everything about yourself that you try to run from, that you suppress, that you hide, your twin flame is going to bring that right up to the surface for you to clear, my friend. <laughs> and intuitively, I always knew this. So I, I kind of ran away. I did my best to avoid the topic. But if you are a twin flame, <laughs> your twin flame will find you. It, it's going to catch up to you sooner or later, my friend. So might as well just surrender to the journey. So that being said, before I delve into what twin flames and dragons have in common, let's define the two, shall we? So your twin flame, as I spoke of briefly, is your shadow self. Um, and this is because you two were created as one soul. And back a long, long time ago, those souls were split into two. The divine masculine force and the divine feminine force force allegedly I, I might fight you on that I have my own views on this but this is allegedly how it goes and so then you're just incarnating over and over again you kind of have the same soul energy more so than any soulmate in your soul family because you guys are like quite literally cut from the same cloth and as such you and your twin flame are always connected to each other. And when you have your physical meeting in the 3D physical world for the first time, this officially awakens that connection. And let me tell you, once you officially awaken the connection, 
probably the biggest sign that I've noticed between all of my clients, all of my researching Twin Flames and my personal experience is that once you have that physical uh, awakening, you can never <laughs> not think about your Twin Flame. They're just always there in the back of your mind. Um, and, and they're always like on your heart. And you can try all that you want to run away and to suppress and to distract yourself, but they're always going to be there because you guys are interweaved. You're part of the same soul. Now, dragons. For those of you who are not familiar with my content, you may be like, well, <laughs> dragons. Of course, we know all like the fantasy beasts of the dragon, but real dragons are so much more than that. Real dragons at their essence, their purest essence, they're higher frequency beings. That means they vibrate at a frequency that is much higher than what we can perceive with the or our senses in the physical world. So we are generally vibrating at this this 3D frequency, and that's what gives objects, you know, like a physical appearance and feeling. Um, but dragons, they vibrate so high that they're unperceivable. I hope that makes sense. Feel free to let me know if you have any questions about that. So some hallmark characteristics of someone who is a twin flame and someone who is called to work with dragon energy, maybe they're a dragon soul, maybe they're other kin, they're dragon kin. Regardless, there are some hallmark signs that both exhibit and I will briefly go into those. So sign number one is that <clears throat> twin flames and dragons are just completely ancient. Um, very, 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 very ancient. Like more so, I can't even find words to express how ancient dragons and twin flames are. Um, but needless to say, if you are one of those or both of those, you're going to be a very, very old soul that's incarnated many, many times on many different planets, most likely different dimensions and realms. And you have just a lot of experience with this life thing. And now you've wanted to make things a little more challenging for yourself. Number two, as touched on in the de definition of real life dragons, is that twin flames and dragons are just more naturally like higher vibrational, higher vibrational. And so Bringing it down from the esoteric terms, <clears throat> what this can look like <clears throat> is essentially this um, unshakable kind of optimism when it comes down to it. No matter what happens, there's just like, there's this purity. There's this desire to always believe in the good of others, of other beings, not even just humanity, um, but just all beings. And to believe in the interconnectedness of life. And I don't know if anyone can re relate to that, but I personally <clears throat> hate this about myself kind of some days. Uh, I get so mad. I've been taken advantage of by so many people. I've been through so much trauma in my life, like so many ridiculous, like telenovela-like levels of drama stuff. And yet still at the end of the day, as much as I want to just go over the cliff and just go to the dark side, go to the point of no return and just be like, yeah, fuck this. <laughs> like I am done being the nice one. It's like uh, in, in Wicked, the song, no good deed goes unpunished. Like I, I want to do that so bad sometimes, but I just can't. At the end of the day, I'm always just brought back to this purity where I'm just like, you know what? No, I can be better. And I can be in being better in holding this frequency of um, unconditional love, I can elicit that from others as well. And we can create heaven on earth, if you will. And finally, the third thing that they all have in common, a little bit of a masochist, okay? <laughs> um, it, this basically means you're not afraid of a good challenge. Um, you enjoy a good challenge because the twin flame journey is not easy. It is, like I said, the hardest thing likely you will ever experience in your entire life. And working with the dragons in any capacity, same deal. Um, <laughs> just look at my recent video on dragon trials, which I will try to link in this video, um, maybe up here, if you need a little bit more about that. But essentially, <laughs> when you're working with twin flames and you're working with dragons, 
it's just constant tower moments, constant road of trials. It's like, um, I like to use the life is a video game analogy. And Earth is already like Dark Souls or Elden Ring. That's a newer one, if you're familiar with these games, that they're just so difficult, right? And that's part of the fun of the game is that they're just so difficult. Like you feel like such a freaking badass if you even like survive the first boss fight, if you even make it to the first boss fight, right? Um, and that's how Earth is. And then you're just like, and even like a level even higher than that, if you're like, working with twin flame energy and dragon energy because you're like already in this difficult video game and you're like okay how can i make this even more challenging so for example if you're playing like elden ring or like dark souls or something it's like going through the game with like the most base weapon possible or something it's like just making it as difficult as possible on yourself because it's fun and it doesn't feel fun when you're here on earth certainly but at a soul level um you really you really get off on that on that challenge so those are some of the things that people working with this energy have in common now in general what do twin flames and dragons have in common it is essentially it comes down to the same base point which is ascension twin flames and dragons want to help humanity ascend in this is precisely why I've been called now to teach on Twin Flames and Dragons, even though initially they seemed like completely um, opposite topics to me. They, I was like, well, what the hell do these things have in common? Um, I was like, on one hand, you've got the, the, the dragon people that are just, I mean, we're, we're kind of like nerds and we're into like fantasy and stuff like that. And then on the other hand, you got the Twin Flame people who are just all about like the romance, like the romance novel people. How do these things come together? And it's ascension because they're both uh, higher vibrational and dragons really want to guide um, humanity into how to raise their collective frequency to match that of the dragons to be a higher frequency. And twin flames, consequently, when twin flames come together, there's a lot of like quantum physics, like magical Esque shit that happens when twin flames come together this isn't re reuniting with your twin flame is not about like just you and your twin flame and you guys getting your happily ever after it's not so selfish as that it's actually a very important mission that twin flames have to come together to raise the vibrational frequency of the planet because when twin flames come together they start to vibrate at the frequency of unconditional love they raise their collective vibrations and everyone around them can feel this too even if they can't put their put a finger on it they know what they're experiencing what they're feeling so quick quick note on that is one of the things that i always think back on when i hung out with my twin flame that always was just like wow that was weird that was supernatural like this it's clearly a twin flame relationship um was me and my twin flame, we didn't hang out IRL that long before our separation happened. And there was never anything romantic about it whatsoever. We were always just friends. Um, and from the get-go, whenever we were hanging out, I would always just notice people around us looking at us strangely. And I could just feel something. Like they were looking at us like with this look that if I could put words to it, it was just like, like, how are they so in love? Like, how are they so in love? And I was always just like, why are they giving us this look? I was like, we're just friends. We're like not even, we're not even dating. We're not even a couple. I haven't even known him more than like a few days. Like, what the hell are they thinking? But like all these people, these strangers that we would pass and stuff would just be able to feel this, this resonance of when me and my twin flame were together, not even romantically. So it's a very powerful force and it's a very important mission. And that's why finally, after <laughs> I guess um, catfishing you this entire video, we're going to get to the main point. So how can you use dragon energy to end your twin flame separation right the hell now? Because it is possible. So essentially, it just comes down to connecting with your twin flame on the etheric higher dimensional planes. Because remember, dragon energy is a higher frequency and so is twin flame energy. So basically, the, the technique I want you to try here for reuniting with your twin flame is I want you to go to the dragon realm. And if you're just like, 
And how do I do that? <laughs> that sounds really freaking cool, but it sounds difficult to do. It takes literally 10 minutes of your time. I made a meditation that is free on YouTube. You can check it out here, I believe. And it will allow you to go to the dragon realms. And before you do this meditation, you can set the intention to meet your twin flame in the dragon realms and to connect with your twin flame in the dragon realms. Because likely, if you're watching this video, you and your twin flame both have dragon forms. And it's going to be a lot easier to connect with your twin, twin flame in this dragon form because it's higher frequency, because you're not carrying all the bullshit of the 3D physical human realm. You guys will be able to speak much more clearly. Um, so what you need to know is actually how do you se end separation right now? Well, separation's an illusion. To be honest, it's an illusion that we're just playing by on the 3D physical plane. So it doesn't even exist anyways. But you can like end it like this by traveling to a higher realm. And when you go to the higher realms, when you go to the dragon realm, you can have fun with this and you might see some just interesting things like you and your twin flame may actually look like twins as dragons. Like you may be like the same clan, have the same markings, the same colorings, um, or you may be very complimentary. I know like me and my twin flame are gold and silver dragons respectively. And it's a very complimentary twin flamey sort of energy in the dragon realm, which I always just thought was really cool. It was a nice little Easter egg. I was like, oh wow, we're like, like gold and silver dragons together. That's so cute. So know that when you are going to the dragon realms, connecting with your twin flame there on the higher dimensional planes, this isn't just like, uh, again, like me pulling your leg and be like, oh yeah, you can end separation because it doesn't even exist and stuff you really will be ending separation there. You will be with your twin flame there. And you will be able to bring it about in the physical world much, 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 much faster if you're connecting with them like this on a regular base basis. I would highly recommend doing this meditation every day, um, getting in a regular practice, and that will lift your frequency and allow you to tap into the unconditional love frequency on your own, which then magnetizes you towards your twin flame and vice versa, because they are you and they're mirroring the same things, even if they're not conscious of it. So I hope that makes sense. I hope you're excited to try it because I have certainly had some really crazy results with this, let me tell you. And I love talking about dragons, and Twin Flames both. If you have uh, other questions about this topic, please let me know in the comments below and I'm more than happy to make another video on this per se. Let me know what you would like me specifically to make videos on and I can do that. And as always, me and the dragons will love you forever if you can like this video and subscribe and hit that notification bell to be notified when I post new videos or go live because I have a bit of an erratic schedule. I wish you all happy travels in the dragon realm, sending you good vibes as you connect and reconnect with your twin flame. And until next time, my friends, stay powerful.